Hallo zusammen! In today's fourth episode of German Words for Things at Home, we're gonna deal with German Words for Things at Home, I guess. Yeah, that might be true. Let's find that out. Let's start with this thingy. I don't know what you call this one, but we Germans refer to it by saying das Telefon, singular, die Telefone, plural, the telephone. Mit einem Telefon kann man telefonieren. You can make phone calls with a telephone. Magic! Who would have thought? Mit einem Telefon kann man jemanden anrufen. You can call someone with a telephone. Interesting, Dave. Uh, tell me more. Usually you need to press certain Tasten with Nummern on them. It's die Taste, singular, die Tasten, plural, the key, and die Nummer, singular, die Nummern, plural, numbers. Ich wähle die Nummer meiner Oma. Or ich wähle die Telefonnummer meiner Oma. I'm entering my grandma's telephone number. You could very well say that, but usually we just say ich rufe meine Oma an. I'm calling my grandma. Or in this specific case, ich rufe den Teufel an. I'm calling the devil. Now to something more peaceful. These things make every room look more peaceful and better, I think. I'm talking about die Pflanze, singular, die Pflanzen, plural, plants. As it's the case for most terms that begin in pf, the combination of these two consonants in German, Germans rather verbalize it as an f, as a single f sound. Die Pflanze versus die Pflanze. In this case you could also refer to this one by saying die Blume, singular, die Blumen, plural, flowers. Nicht alle Pflanzen sind Blumen, aber alle Blumen sind Pflanzen. <sighs> Except for the artificial ones. I guess. Well, that's getting a bit out of control, a bit too philosophical for my taste, don't you think? Die Blume ist im Blumentopf auf der Fensterbank. The flowers in the flower pot on the windowsill. For der Blumentopf singular, die Blumentöpfe plural, the flower pot. And die Fensterbank singular, die Fensterbänke plural, the windowsills. Pflanzen and Blumen can be found both drinnen or innen, inside, and Draußen or außen, outside. It's raining outside right now. Gerade regnet es draußen, but if I wanted to go outside, it would be better to have a key with me. Do you know or remember the German term for key and its articles? If so, tell me in the comments. Generally speaking, this is a Schrankwand. Die Schrankwand, singular. Die Schrankwände, plural. A wall or shelf unit. You can place many different Dinge in it, for instance, Bücher, das Buch, singular, die Bücher, plural, ich lese ein Buch, I'm reading a book. But to be honest, if I had to choose between reading a book and listening to music, there is a chance I might rather listen to a Lied or even a whole album, das Lied, singular, die Lieder, plural, the song, das Album, singular, die Alben, plural. Albums. These are my dad's CDs. He has put them into a Regal. Das Regal. Singular. Die Regale. Plural. The Shelf. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this fourth episode of German Words for Things at Home. And I hope I haven't promised too much at the beginning of this episode. Because that is exactly what we just talked about. I'd like to know which of these words did you know already. Thanks for watching, I'm your vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.